and welcome to my little bookish comedy internet. My name's Harriet. Today I'm going to be sharing my August TBR with you. There are quite a few books on this list. I did have a really good reading month in the month of July, so I'm really hoping to get to you quite a few of these, if not all of them, if I can. So let's get started. So one of the smallest books on this list, but one of the ones that I'm most excited for, is The Word for the World is Forest by Ursula Le Guin. You already know by now how much I love this author's writing, so I'm really excited to get to this. I don't really know an awful lot about it, but it seems to be following a society of people or maybe an alien race um, that are basically forced into rebelling against some brutal masters that have taken over their society. But that also breaks down their beliefs. So their kind of religion and what they believe in is very non-violent and they're going to have to get violent in order to break free from the servitude that they are stuck in. So that's pretty much all I know about this. It's a really short read. I'll probably read it in one sitting, but it's something that I'm really excited for, something that I've never really read before. But like I say, I'm probably going to love it because I love this author's works. Another book by Le Guin that I'd like to read this month is The Lathe of Heaven. This is actually available on Kindle Unlimited if you want to check out this author's works, but don't think that you're ready to commit to buying something. If you do have Kindle Unlimited, you can read it. But basically we are following our main character, and whatever they dream can alter the past and the present. And then I think that this is maybe used against them. I don't know too much about this. I just know that it is written by Ursula Le Guin. So I'm gonna to wanna to read it. And it was part of Kindle Unlimited. So I'm definitely gonna check that out this month. Another relatively short read is This Is How You Lose the Time War by Amal El Motar and Max Gladstone. I got bought this for my birthday. I'm really excited to read it. I don't know too much about it again. But it looks like it focuses in on time travel and there are two rival agents that are hell-bent on securing the best possible future for the warring factions but they strike up an unlikely correspondence so i think this is going to focus in a lot on kind of friendships and relationships and it's also going to be possibly quite science heavy which i've just started dipping my toes into science fiction so hopefully i'll be able to understand what's going on in this but i have heard that it's very unusual and strange but it is such a tiny book, I really think that I'm going to get to this and be able to finish it quite quickly and hopefully I'll enjoy it. And then we get onto a non-fiction novel that is based around running, something that sometimes I do when I can be bothered, but not so much when I don't have the motivation. So I thought that reading a book about running would help me to get more motivated to do it and enjoy it a bit more. So it's called Running Like a Girl by Alexandra Hemmingsley. And we are basically following this person's journey and how she fell in love with running. So I thought that would be a really interesting thing to read. I do like my non-fictions at the moment. I feel like they break up the bigger books that I'm reading, the heavier like fantasy and science fiction novels. I feel like non-fiction is a great way to break that up and also to expand my mind a little bit and my mindset. See, I haven't actually heard anyone talk about this. Um, not that I've looked it up specifically, I found this in the charity shop, but I am excited to see if it helps me at all. Let me know if you've read any books like that, like if you're not motivated to do something, will you read something that might help to motivate you, whether it's running or, I don't know, art, music, things like that? Or do you read more non-fiction that is a lot more educational? Another book that has been on my list for quite a while is Call Me By Your Name by Andre Ackerman. We all know what this is about by now, but just in case you don't, we are following a 17 year old and the relationship that he strikes up with his father's house guest. Can you hear that? Okay, I hope they stop screaming now. It's a child, by the way. I think they're fine. Oh yeah, I have heard that this is very intimate and something that people have enjoyed reading, but that also at certain points makes people uncomfortable. Again, I don't know too much about it. I just know that I'd like to read it and then I'll probably watch the film afterwards. So let me know if you have read this and what you thought of it. Now we've got a book that I borrowed from my grandma and that is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Again, another book that has been absolutely everywhere, whether it's on Bookstagram or Booktube. I know that we are following a young girl called Kaya Clark. I think that's how you say their name. Um, and she has survived all alone in this marshland. And then what happens when she is suspected of murdering someone um, and kind of her journey through that and I guess her interactions with the police and things like that. I've heard that it is very strange and unusual, but is a really gripping read. So that's something that I really want to get into. Again, let me know if you've read this because I'm sure most people have by now. I'm a bit late to it, but 
that's fine. Hopefully I'll still enjoy it. And there's still more books that I want to get to. You will have seen this on my channel before. It's The Gilded Ones by Nanina Fauna. I need to read this this month, definitely. It's a fantasy novel. I believe it's YA. I've spoken about it so much on my channel before. So in any of the TBRs for the last couple of months, you would have heard me say what this is about. But I am really excited to get to it. And it's something that I've heard lots of really great things about. Okay, we are coming to the end of our list now. There's just two more books to go. This one will be an obvious one if you've seen my July wrap up. That is the second part of A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. This is the second one called Blood and Gold. And this is just following the same characters as we have in the rest of the A Song of Ice and Fire series. So this is still book three, but technically it's the fourth book physically. I think they split it because otherwise it would be absolutely massive. I'll show you, I've got part one here. So if you put these two together, that would just be a ginormous book and people probably wouldn't pick it up. So I am glad that they split it in half. Um, but I'm going to get to this this month, definitely. I've been absolutely loving this series. I think it's phenomenal. It's written amazingly and I just never want to put it down. And then the final book is a repeat because I'm going to be reading it over the next couple of months. And that is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. This is just a non-fiction book about the history of humanity, basically, um, up until present day. And I have been enjoying it a lot. I just haven't had time because I've been reading huge fantasy books. I haven't really had time to separate like a little space to start reading this because I feel like I want to read a big chunk of it at a time. But I am on page 100 now and there's only 466 pages anyway. So about a quarter of the way through and I am really loving it. So yeah, those are all the books that I would love to get to in August. Hopefully I can get to them. It looks ambitious because there's lots of books, but most of them are really quite small and under 300 pages. So hopefully I'll be able to get to them. Let me know what you'd like to read the most this month, what you're gonna get to. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.